You can improve your listening skills when you use the four active listening techniques I'm going to share with you in this video. Would you like to listen better and improve your relationships? If yes, then you got the video you need. Hi, I'm Dr. Elias Moitinho with Motivation and Growth. In this channel, I'll be motivating you and giving you tips and life skills to help you grow in your life. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. I have over 17 years of experience in the counseling profession and also teaching counseling. I have used the listening skills that I'm going to share with you daily. Yes, my wife says I need to improve my listening. At least that's what I heard. Well, please watch the whole video because at the end I have a bonus feature that is going to help you put it all together. So let's dive in. The four active listening techniques are paraphrasing, reflecting feelings, reflecting meaning, and summarizing. These are techniques that counselors use every day to help them listen to and understand their clients. So these are secrets that I want to share with you because they are going to help you to become a better listener and also will improve your relationships. And guess what? If it works for the counselors, it can work for you. Paraphrasing. Well, the purpose of paraphrasing is to ensure understanding. It's to convey to the speaker, I got your message. I got you. I understand what you said. And what is a paraphrase? A paraphrase is a concise statement that you make, basically repeating to the speaker, concise statement, in your own words, what you heard the speaker say. So you may say, what I'm hearing you say is, or you may say, it sounds like, and then you say what you heard. But again, paraphrase is brief. Para paraphrase is concise, okay? And what a paraphrase does, it lets the speaker know that you understood. It ensures understanding. Reflecting feelings. The purpose of reflecting feelings is to empathize with the person who is talking with you. It shows that person that you care about him or about her. Now, how do you do that? Well, it's important that you emphasize, pay attention to the feelings the person is experiencing as he or she is talking with you, but you may also focus on the feelings that he or she experienced in the event that they are talking about. Now, the person may or may not use feeling words. The person may or may not say, oh, I was so angry, oh, I was so frustrated, oh, I was so depressed. Well, the person may not use feeling words, so how do you know the feelings? Well, you pay attention to the content, the story, what they are telling you. You look at the person's body language. Uh, how are they expressing themselves as they are talking to you? You also pay attention to the tone of voice, okay? So nonverbal communication is very important. You may also put yourself in the person's shoes. Ask yourself, how would I be feeling if I had gone through that experience, okay? And what you do when you reflect feelings, you say, it sounds like you are feeling this way. And then you tell the feeling, maybe it sounds like you're feeling overwhelmed or I can see you are feeling very anxious. Oh, you were very angry when your boss did such and such. And what that does to the speaker is the speaker feels that you care for, feel cared for, yes. And that creates more connection and more trust. Reflect meaning. Reflect meaning focuses on the content and the emotions of the speaker. And the purpose of reflecting meaning is to take it to a deeper level of empathy. When you reflected the feelings, you were doing what? You were empathizing with the speaker. So when you reflect meaning, you are going to a deeper level of empathy. So how do you do that? Well, you identify the feeling the person is experiencing and you connect that feeling 
with the experience that the person is talking to you about. So you may say, it sounds like you are feeling very overwhelmed because you have too many assignments to complete at school or it sounds like you're feeling too overwhelmed or very overwhelmed because you have so many bills to pay and you don't believe you have enough money to do that and you are doing what you are saying the feeling and you are showing that you understand the reason why the person is feeling that particular way and again that leads to a deeper connection and trust now the next skill is summarizing the purpose of summarizing is to recap the conversation especially when the speaker has shared a lot yeah you're gonna talk to people and some of them talk a lot and you have those friends and sometimes you feel lost in the conversation so summarizing is a good skill to use with those people and what you do is you restate the main topics of what you heard you may focus on the themes that you heard or you may focus on patterns that you heard and you may say something along the lines of okay what I heard you say is uh, your concern is in these two areas you're concerned about your work you're concerned about your finances and you are pointing out the two main issues that you believe are the important issues for the speaker and summarizing helps convey to the speaker that you are understanding or you've understood what the speaker's main concerns were okay so again use those four skills paraphrasing reflecting feelings reflecting meaning and summarizing so as promised here's the bonus tip you may have heard practice makes perfect good practice makes perfect so i'm going to encourage you to practice the skills it's one thing to hear about the skills or to read about them but it's something else to put them into practice you may say i want to practice paraphrasing today and when you listen to people you paraphrase you tell them what i'm hearing you say is as you practice each skill at a time you improve each one at a time and then you can use all of them in a conversation and you will see your relationships go to the next level and guys if you are married your spouse will be so happy to know you are improving your listening skills it's been my joy to be here with you but share in the comments below which skill you like the best and if you liked the video, click the like button, share it with your friends, and be sure to subscribe. Have a great day and great listening. I'll see you in the next video.